He thinks that there's a 35 to 40 percent chance of a soft landing. He hopes that happens. But if not, we'll be okay. We'll get through it. What else can you say, really? Yeah, well, we're even more optimistic than uh, than Jamie. We put a, about a 70 percent chance of a soft landing. We've been in that position for a while, maybe a 30 percent chance of a downturn. And a lot of it does come back to the consumer, back to those previous comments. Consumers have slowed down uh, their purchases quite a bit after, uh, and I would actually um, say that they have exhausted some of their savings, but a lot of that was invested too. You can see the flows going to uh, places like Treasury Direct. You can see uh, consumers had invested some of those savings, not just spent them down recklessly, which I think provides a good buffer, uh, but adjusted for inflation, absolutely right. A lot of those savings are gone. So we see consumer spending now, uh, in a real sense, whether it's goods or services or the overall, is about 2.5% year over year. And importantly, uh, no longer relying on savings. That uh, is driven by job and wage growth. And we think that those things will continue despite the one-week jobs report. Uh, and importantly, we're not hearing the hue and cry from businesses that they can't keep up with orders and can't keep up with business. And that's what's really bringing inflation down. Uh, so we expect 2.4% growth when we finish this year, a little bit of a slowdown next year to about 1.5%, but we're pretty optimistic. He said he was a bit skeptical that 2% inflation could be, uh, the tar that, that target of the Feds uh, could be reached any anytime soon. I may be over-paraphrasing him there. Uh, do you agree with that? We think it'll come down to the Fed's target in the first quarter of 2025, so probably faster than what... Uh, uh, Jamie was referencing. We're going to have some challenging base effects for the remainder of this year. We had some really low readings in the second half of last year. But with consumer spending uh, as normal as it is, we really don't see uh, inflation pushing upward from here. So it's going to sort of move along right around at that two and a half percent level in a year over year sense. And then as when we hit the first quarter of next year, I think it will move back down to the Fed's target. And that's really important for a Fed consideration, because as the unemployment rate is now already above their median forecast for the end of this year, and because the Fed has said they're putting inflation and the labor market on equal footing, uh, that means it's time for rate cuts, and it means it's time for rate cuts uh, pretty soon. Uh, Luke, still, I, I was struck by how I thought Jamie Dimon really sounded much more optimistic than in the past couple of years, and, and kind of like his old self, and uh, maybe the storm clouds have cleared. Yeah, uh, storm clouds. I was just thinking, as you were saying that, I was thinking back as a couple of years ago, he said they were bracing for an economic hurricane. And there were a lot of challenges at that point, uh, but a lot of the storm clouds have cleared. I agree with you. There are some, I'll, I'll say yellow flags, not even red flags in the labor market report and a little bit of drift up of credit card delinquencies. Uh, but overall, credit is still being paid. And as long as job growth keeps up, and we think it will, uh, that means that uh, companies are going to keep hiring people. It's, uh, as I said, it's going to be slower than it has in the past couple of years. Uh, so we don't know where the next uh, storm cloud will come from. Uh, like I said, a couple of uh, yellow caution flags, but we think that uh, it's a soft landing from here. And that's going to be uh, good for the economy and good for risk assets. It's interesting. Leslie Picker did ask him about credit card losses and, and extra reserves that they have set aside at uh, the bank uh, to do that. But he, he did not seem overly worried about that at all. He said credit card losses have normalized. It's not worrisome. Jobs are up. Wages are up. The market is up. Uh, and, and really what he's seeing is, is kind of a normalization of that rather than any big dramatic acceleration. Yeah, we see that in the data, too. And Wilmington Trust, we're part of m and Bank, so we have our own uh, portfolio. And uh, I feel like, as an economist, I spend a lot of times distinguishing between uh, rates of change and level. Uh, so we've had the credit card delinquencies have really been moving up sharply over the past year, but they're coming off of a really low base and really hitting those normalized levels right now. This morning, we got the most recent quarterly report from the New York uh, Fed on delinquencies and the movement of balances into 90 days delinquent is slowing down. And that really does translate to a normalization. Uh, and a lot of people really still are paying uh, those credit debts. So we don't think that it is uh, a red flag. We don't think it's a reason to uh, panic or change our positioning yet. Uh, but uh, we're watching it very closely because uh, the consumer is key.